In this next video in the series, what I'm going to be doing is teaching you how to import uh, any model with uh, the Solemns plugin for Blender. Obviously, what you're going to need to do is find the latest download of Blender or the latest version that works for Solemns. So, what I recommend is downloading Blender 3.6. The time of recording, this is the version that works best with Solemns. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to boot up Blender. Or might look a bit different, but it shouldn't really function differently. Then once you have Blender opened, go up here, top left, go to Edit, and then Preferences. And then now what we're going to do is download the latest Solemns release from GitHub. So here you'll be uh, met with the Solemns repository. On the right here, go to releases, and then make sure it says the latest at the top here. We're just going to go ahead, scroll down to the bottom, and download solemns.zip. Then back in Blender, in the preferences tab, click install, and we're just going to go ahead and install our zip. I'm not going to install it because I already have it, but once you have it installed, uh, it'll be disabled like this. Just make sure you click the box next to the name. And then we're just going to go ahead and restart Blender. That's not Blender. Now, uh, with your mouse or cursor in the viewport, press N. And you'll be met with a toolbar. It'll probably be something like this, but look for the uh, bar or tab that says Solemns Tools. You'll be met with this. Now we can go back into CodeWalker, copy the name or the or the model name that we want to import into Blender, and then we can search it in the RPF Explorer like earlier. We can go here to Tools, RPF Explorer, and search the model name. Then we're going to, going to right click the model, make sure it says Drawable. We're going to go Export to XML. I'm just going to make a new folder on my desktop called import. And then now that we've got the XML for the YDR exported, go ahead and double click it. And then expand this on the left here. Go to materials. Click save all. And there's, you can save it to the same import folder. And then just click OK and then you can close this. Then back into Blender. Uh, where it says general. Expand this. Click Import Codewalker XML. Then locate your uh, XML that you saved from Codewalker. And then on the right here, we're just going to briefly cover the import settings. Um, for fragments, we can ignore this for now. For drawable dictionaries, we can ignore this for now. And import as asset, we can ignore this for now. For the Y map, I'm just going to cover this real quick. Um, in case you import a Y map, and it's not instancing or like duplicating the asset, make sure you tr uh, try with instance entities uh, selected like this. Or this doesn't matter for right now, I'm just uh, just in case for the future. So go ahead and double click on your XML like this, and now you'll see that it's imported. But of course, not all the textures have been imported because not all of them are embedded. The ones that are showing right now are the embedded textures. Get all the textures to show or like working in Blender. Go ahead and press the V and then click find missing textures. Then go to the import folder where we save the uh, textures to. And then just go ahead and click find missing files. There we go. Now all of our textures are imported. Let's say we wanted to remove this wall here. I'm just going to click these two faces and delete. And then let's say we were done and this is what we want to export. And we're just going to click this on the top right here in the scene collection. Press N. Then click export Codewalker XML. I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop called export. And then we can just ignore these export settings for now. Let's go ahead and click export. Then we're just going to open up Codewalker's RPF Explorer. And then I'm going to go to my export folder. And you'll see here's our XML. 
what I recommend doing is uh, in your base GTA directory, add a new RPF by right clicking here, click new, and then RPF. And then I'll just name it something like 3D mods. Too, um, because I already have one, but then once you've uh, made a new RPF, we'll click it to open it. And then just from your export folder, just drag the XML into uh, CodeWalker. Then you can go ahead and open it and see that our changes have been made. And yeah.